Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the first video that I've ever made while standing up. I finally got my desks, so we're set. My setup has been changed kind of significantly and we are ready to go. I have no idea how this is gonna work. Maybe it'll work well, maybe it won't, but I suppose we will find out. Today I have a great suggestion and that is that players on this team cannot be drafted from the same year. So every single player has to have a different draft year. Never done this one before, I don't think. So thank you for the suggestion. Let's go ahead and find out what team we're gonna be using. It is the Edmonton Oilers. Cool. Actually, fun fact for you guys, I accidentally launched NHL 22, and I was like, did they update this? Like, the colors look weird. It seems more vibrant because it was yellow, and I kind of liked it. And I was like, okay, cool. They made a, a good update. And then I realized, hold on, this is not NHL 23. I saw another suggestion to turn CPU trades off for one, just to see what happens, because their theory is that the post trade deadline collapse is directly related to that one right there. So let's try it. The reason being, they stack up at the trade deadline and then all of a sudden we're going up against an all-star team and we're gonna lose. So good theory, let's try it. I'm trying to figure out like where I can stand, you know, my limitations here and I really don't have that much movement. So I gotta maybe work on that. The green screen isn't all that big. Maybe I just gotta bring it closer. We're gonna get pick number 12. Let's go ahead and find out how wrong I am. As we do. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. We got shafted. The only benefit to this pick is that we get two back-to-back -back pretty close. So, that's nice. I mean, Ovechkin's still on the board. 92 overall. Guy scores goals. He is staring into my soul. He's also my boy. So, I feel like I kind of have to take him. But, mm, you know, the 2004 draft. I don't know how many players we'll find from that. There you go. One and two. How about it? But I don't know. Should I do it? Should I just send it? I could also start with a goalie, but we all know how that works out for me. Okay, fine. Over chicken it is. Let's go ahead, make our first selection. Our next pick is very close. So I actually have to go and mark off 2004 because otherwise I'm going to forget. I could take his teammate, John Carlson, you know. 2000, why does he feel, he does not feel 32 to me. I don't know why. We could pick him up a good centerman, Sebastian Ajo. He's got the third eye ability, tape to tape. So that would be perfect for Ovechkin. 8.4 is not bad. What's his face-offs like? 81. That's not great, but it's not horrible. We got Mitch Marner here. He's a playmaker. Maybe? They could just light it up together. There is the chance. The salary cap is out of control, but you know what? I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Here we go. I'm sending it early. Normally, try to make cap-friendly picks. Not today. So Marner takes 2015 off the board. I would have loved to draft Malkin. I can't believe he's still here. That first line would put up 2 million points. But 2004, no can do. Patrice, on the other hand, 2003. So that's pretty clutch. What was Kopitar? I was going to guess 2005, actually. Bergeron is 2003, 2.5 million. He is a two-way forward, so we'd have sniper, playmaker, two-way forward. Our offense is going to be fire. Goaltending and defense, going to have some issues. How's this guy still here? Adam Pellick. 87 overall, making 5.7. And he's got a gold. Plus two silvers. Sign me up. Or sign him up. Oh my word. The abilities are out of control. Our chemistry is going to be insane. He shoots left, right? Welcome to the team, Jared Spurgeon. I think we're winning the Stanley Cup. I'm just saying it right now. Oh no, what year was he drafted? Oh dear, I forgot. Oh my goodness. We're safe. 2008 and 2012. So we don't have any clashes yet. Should I take a goalie? Or should I wait a little bit longer? Maybe I should. Yeah, it's probably the time. You know, we got our first defensive pair. Got our first line offensively. I feel like a goalie would be smart to take right now. What year was this guy drafted? Because I feel like every time I go up against him, he's insane. So 2014, we're good. All right, Capo, you are our, that, I don't know, I can't speak, but that's not a surprise anymore. You guys know that by now. Capo will be joining the Edmonton Oilers. You know what? Let's do something here. Let's start by Joe Thornton. Yeah, he definitely does not have any clashes. 
When was he? I think he was drafted my birth year, 96. Neil Pionk was drafted never. I guess that means I technically get one undrafted player as well. No? Or, okay, you know what? Because it's a blurry line, I'm just not going to do it. But I feel like it's fair that I should. 2011 Boone Jenner is going to be our second line centerman. That's a very good way to start off the second line. $38 million of cap space, but we have pretty much taken no forwards up till this point. What about I have follow? Undrafted. Because of course. Ryan Hartman 2013 perfectly fills the gap because we have 11 and 12 and then 14, 15. Might as well. When was Barabanov drafted? Undrafted. Why is there so many undrafted players? I feel like when I want to find an undrafted player, I can't. Ah, he was taken in 97. We could take Jumbo, but he is going to be there till the bitter end. So I'm definitely not jumping on that right now. Let's go ahead and sort in the reverse order. Oh, I want to take him, but just the no abilities is killing me. I feel like I could get a player that's similar overall with abilities. Maybe I can't. Perhaps I'm reaching for the stars here. Wyatt, 77 overall. What about Edvinson? No abilities there either. Really? Chaz Michael Michaels also has no abilities. He did end up growing quite well in the last draft, but I don't know. I don't want to take him two times in a row. Okay, there it is. 2001. We're taking Wyatt Johnston off the board. Wait, did I say 2001 or 2021? I feel like I said 2001 and he was maybe not even born yet. So I can assure you that he was not drafted then. The GOAT, 2004, that's Ovi's draft. 2007 is still on the board if we want to go after Kevin Shattenkirk, but what about Trevor Moore? Stop it! Oh, there's so many good players. I just feel like we're getting down to the slim pickings at this point because there's so many draft positions blocked off and we still have many picks to go. 2009, I feel like we already have a left-handed defenseman. What about Joel Edmondson? 2011, can't take him. As good as this idea was, I already hate it. Nick Jensen, 2009, thank you. I could take Eric Johnson as well, just really stack up defensively. I think I'm giving up on the whole average age of the team thing here. He's got abilities, so screw cap space. Welcome to the team, Voracek. Voracek was 2007, by the way, in case you didn't know, which you probably didn't. I don't know why you would know that. Ooh, we could take Ross Colton. We already have a lot of centers, but one of them can play on the wing. They'll survive. That would knock off 2016. Yup, let's go, Maxime, 2017. Left winger as well. Radish is probably, yeah, 2016, no can do. But 2017, we sure can. So we're on pick 15. We need to make six more selections. Need a backup goalie still, but I'm not too worried about that. What are our defense looking like? Defensemen, we have a left, a right, and then you're a right-handed defenseman. You're also right-handed. Okay. 2019, Tobias, you legend. Wait, he shoots left. Fire me up. Let's go. I feel like our team can't really be that old because we have 2011 all the way up to 2017. Actually, it's easier to just say we have 2020 and 2018 left. And then 2010, 2006 is the one after that. So we've actually taken quite a lot. I don't know if I'll get 2020 or 2018. I'll kind of try, but I feel like we're going to be taking some older players here. Oh, sure. It's easy to find goalies drafted in 2010, but I'm going to go... Ooh, that makes it tricky. He's only making 1 million. He was drafted in 2010. But Craig's kind of the GOAT. Uh, I've drafted Craig a lot before. Let's try Scott on for size. I also just kind of forgot I could do this. This makes my life so much easier. He does have abilities. But he was also drafted in... Oh, we do have 2005 available. And we have $20 million of cap space. Timothy Jimothy is going to be the next selection. I'm going to put him on the second line with Voracek, and the chemistry of this team is going to be outrageous. Just you wait. I am going to try to find someone that was drafted in 2018. That's my mission. There's our guy. Sixth round. He's 76 overall. Wow, I got down there quick. Was not expecting that. Was kind of expecting like a 79. Hmm... Meh, never drafted him before. Let's send it. I'm going to sort by forwards because we... Actually, we do need a defenseman. So maybe I could find 
a defenseman that was drafted in 2020. That's my current mission. I'm literally zoning out right now. I feel like this is gonna take forever. Was the 2020 draft like really bad or really good? I can't remember because I can't find a single player. I refuse to believe this is gonna be harder than that one skating challenge that I had. I don't know if you guys remember that from the rant or no, that wasn't even the random wheel one. That was the asking YouTubers, what's going on here? 2018 party, we got one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 76 overall, Igor Sokolov was drafted in 2020. He's a sniper. He's a winger, which actually works out phenomenally. Welcome to the team. And then we just need a defenseman. So for this defenseman, we either need someone that was drafted in 06 or earlier than 03. Seen a lot of 05 so far, which doesn't help us at all. I could try to play my undrafted card here, but I'm not gonna do it. Why couldn't you have been drafted in 2002, Ryan? What's up? 05 and 07 are everywhere. At this rate, handedness is not an issue. I'll take whoever. You could have a straight stick. Doesn't matter to me. Another 2003. Why is there no one from 2002? We're really gonna have like a 50 overall player on this team, aren't we? Guys, we're down to like 63 overall and I still have not found a single soul. I hit the bottom. There, it, no, there isn't anybody. Jordan Stull, 2006. We're gonna have to play a forward on defense, I suppose. Well, not much I can really do. Welcome to the team. And with that, we have from 2003 all the way to 2022. My faith in this team just dropped substantially. It does still look good, you know? Like, we have some very solid players in there, but... It's just that last pick really did me in. And we just hit the 40 minute mark. I spent 40 minutes drafting that team. Sim passed the preseason because... Who cares about it? And we will go edit the lines and I'll try to double check. But this one's gonna be kind of difficult. I mean, I could take notes again, but. All right, so these, I don't think I drafted you. Yep, there it is, Ross Colton. Gonna be a defender. It only gets a dash one to be fair. Hello, if I do this, then this line's a zero and this gets a plus one. I think I am gonna do that. What did this coach just do? You literally just ruined my lines. They want Wyatt back here now, and I don't know how I feel about that. I could put, you know what? No, Stull's too good at draws. He's gotta be in the middle. Why is he not already in the middle? Let's also boot everybody that I didn't draft. Hopefully I recognize, I think it's you and you, and everyone else I think was part of my selections. You know what? Wyatt's coming back to forward, I don't care. You can swap. Okay, so our first line is a plus three. And then we have a plus two, a zero with these guys, which I might want to... No, it's not going to work. Yeah, it's probably not going to work. So we'll just leave it like that. They can have a dash one. It's not the end of the world. Defensively, we got a plus five, a zero with Ross Colton, who shoots left. So that's good. He also has the two green. So somehow he fits perfectly on the second defensive pair. And then we've got our two boys here that will hopefully do something. Ooh, okay, I was gonna say our goaltending situation's actually not great, but then I remembered how well this man simulates, so I take it back. I take back something that I hadn't even said yet. So 2014 and 2010, yep. And if we go to our even strength, could check out our defense. 2012, 2008, 2016, 09, 2019, 2022. No shot I'm remembering all this, but I'm just gonna hope for the best. 2015, okay. I don't think I've seen any repeats so far. 2013, hmm. Why did that look familiar? Let's go to defense, 2013. Saw 2012, okay. So no. And 2014, I feel like I saw another 2014 too, but maybe it was just 2004 and I'm tripping. Yeah, okay, defensively. I'm just gonna say we're good. Ovi gets the most points with 80. No, you know what? That first line stacked. Ovi gets the most points with 92. And I will say we make the playoffs with a grand total of 44 dubs. Let's go. So we started off 0-5-1. Not exactly the start we were looking for, but hopefully we'll swing it back around here. I have a little TSN turning point. I don't think so. Pretty sure we're just cheeks. Get out of here, scout. All right, we suck. I'm going to go ahead and just do best lines. Spurgeon has the most points. 
Are you kidding me? Head coach preferred lines. This is what they want. They want two dash ones. And they want Wyatt on defense. I don't know. Maybe it'll make a difference. But I think we are just destined for a very poor year. You know, sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't go. It's just the way she goes. And today, she's not going. I feel like I have to fix my camera a bit. Because the fact that I have to stand over here feels wrong. Well, on the bright side, we don't have to worry about the post-trade deadline collapse. So maybe I should test that theory in another video. Where our team's actually doing well. Because right now... We are experiencing the post-trade deadline the entire season. This one was, in fact, a toughie. And I haven't done the left-handed player's draft yet, so that will be a nice <laughs> alleviation from this one. Put it that way. Patrick Kane here again. Guy is literally on every trade deadline ever. On the bright side, we don't have to worry about playoff stress or anything like that. You know, can just sort of fly through it. Go look at some stats. 2-0-1. 2-0-2. To one and two. Okay, yeah. No, I thought we were going to have sort of like a switcheroo there, but it's not happening. So obviously we missed the playoffs. No surprise there whatsoever. We got 80 points from Ovi. All right. Marner put up 71, Bergeron 62. So I thought I drafted a good team here. You know, I really thought I did something. I was wrong. Apparently this guy only plays insane when he is up against me. Not, you know, stopping the puck for me. Scoot also had a horrendous season. Just not good for the whole team. We might have finished last in the league. Mm, I don't know about that. We'd have to check. Nobody broke 100 this year. Matthew's got 97. 56 goals, though. Don't tell me that 44 is the next closest. Okay, Kyle Connor at 46, but holy smokes. Cooch had 94, and then we've got a quadruple of 92s. One being Jesper Bratt. Atta boy. Igor did outstanding. 44 dubs, a 922 save percentage. And a 231. So I feel like he's taking home a little bit of hardware this year. Thatcher Demko, 919. 42 dubs. Seven shutouts for Igor, too. Spurgeon's the only one that did anything. Got 48 points. Pelic only got 19. Like, what were you doing out there? I guess he is a defensive defenseman, but that's outrageous. Tobias got the same amount of points as him. Adam Fox would be the overall defensive leader, though, with 75. He was a dash six, so his team was kind of stinky, but he did well. McAvoy, 74. Carlson, 73. Should have drafted him. Just kidding. If I drafted him, he would have been a bum. Eighth in the Pacific. Entire league. I don't know why I went that way, but Tampa Bay, your President's Trophy winners. They brought Braden Point right back. JT Miller. They had... Wow, they have a good team. Very good team. Igor and Netu, how'd they manage to even draft these players? Moment of truth. Were we dead last in the league? That would be... Yes, we were. By a bit. Like, it wasn't even really close. Sorry, Edmonton. Kind of did you dirty there. But uh, let's sim past the playoffs and find out who goes on to win the Stanley. Tampa Bay's team is just so good. I feel like they're going to win the Stanley Cup as well. Who's going to delete them? Nobody. Oh, never mind. They didn't even make it out of the East. It is player stats time. Sebastian Ajo, the likely Conn Smythe winner. 29 points. What is with teams taking their players back? Charlie McAvoy... 27 and 21. Kirill the Thrill, 24 and 18. On freaking Minnesota. Let me guess. Horvat is on the Islanders. No, not quite. Yeah, Carolina has a dirty team. They have Seb, who I almost drafted. They have Horvat. They have Vladimir. Somehow they also have Charlie McAvoy. And didn't they have Igor Shesterkin? Hold on. No, no. Okay, never mind. That was, that was Tampa. They had Stewie. a boy. 82 overall, puts up a 928 save percentage. If you've been watching the Be A Pro, then you know. Logan Thompson, 920. Sam Sonov. So apparently the good goalies just don't do anything. You want an 82-84 overall goalie, ideally. Yep, Charlie absolutely slapped the other defenders. Any Oilers logo is going to show up here. My initial instinct is telling me no. And I am correct. Well, here is your playoff tree. Apparently, I shouldn't stand in videos because it did not work out very well. A sweep in the finals, you know. Ugh. Don't like to see that. Well, anyways, if nothing else, hopefully you were at least entertained. I'll see you soon.